Russell is usually out for summer, but not for one boy from Wilton. He's gone from student to teacher. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter shows us how he's using his skills to help usher older adults into the digital age. At Wilton Commons, we're going to start in like 13 minutes. Class is almost in session. You guys got your packets and everything? Absolutely. These students haven't been in a school setting for decades. I'm 82. 80 years old. But this summer, on Tuesday afternoons, they've gathered in the community room to learn from an expert on all things online. I'm Owen Lentner. I am from Willen, Connecticut, and I'm 11 years old. Okay, everyone. So first, we're going to go over a week six agenda. The incoming sixth grader has spent part of his summer break donating his time to bridge the gap between seniors and technology. Does anyone have any questions? Questions? Armed with a microphone and a slideshow, each week covers something different with computers and cyber safety. Lesson one. Owen's teaching method isn't just lecturing. All right, ladies. He's also very hands-on. Um, everyone, just let's look at the computer here. He would okay. go there, go there. He is the most patient young man, smart, gentle with us. Owen's dad is in class too as a sort of teacher's aide, a position he's more than qualified for. I'm Sean Lettner. I started Lettner Technology back in 2003. So when I started the business, I worked out of my house. And so when Owen was a little baby, he was just sitting there on my lap and just sort of bounced them. And I think, you know, he just saw it, was intrigued by what was going on. He just thought, hmm, what is this? And he just got me here. In 2019, Owen and his dad started Lentner Junior Engineers, a way for tech-savvy kids to use their skills for a good cause. Owen collected old computers, wiped out the data, upgraded the operating systems, then donated the equipment. For people that can't really afford computers. This year, Lentner Junior Engineers donated computers to Connecticut Housing Partners, which owns and operates affordable senior housing, including Wilton Commons. I said, what about if we put together some course curriculum and then my son could teach it? Owen really just took, you know, what was an idea and then created, you know, the 40 some odd pages of PowerPoint presentation and sort of rehearsing it, making videos. All that prep seems to have paid off. She got, she got it. it. She got it. You look at this little pipsqueak and you go, what? <laughs> He's just quite an extraordinary young man. How proud are you of Owen? Really proud. I think it's really important for children to have relationships other than with technology. So it's really amazing to see that there's a child that's now taking technology to create relationships that weren't there before. The feeling of helping out your community, it just, it feels so good. Especially today. Jeanette dressing. As these seniors graduate. This has been the best class we have ever done, and the first class, so you guys. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. In Wilton, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. Connecticut Housing Partners applied for a digital divide grant because of the program's success. They hope to expand it to other locations in the future.